Uh, it's the 8th of October and I'm here in a field called Foot of the Hill. It's a field of Invicta which is following winter oilseed rape and uh, the field was planted um, about two weeks ago and uh, since then we haven't really done too much drilling. The weather has been constantly raining, some particularly heavy showers. Uh, but the crop is just starting <coughs> to emerge through the ground now and uh, along with a resident population of slugs. So we've had to put some slug pellets on here. There's one there that you can see that's eaten the pellets and has died, which is uh, good news. And uh, hopefully that one application will be able to keep the slugs from uh, continuing to eat some of these newly established plants just as they emerge through the ground. Obviously there's quite a lot of pressure on with the active ingredient in these slug pellets called metaldehyde uh, which is particularly mobile um, and uh, trying to keep within the metaldehyde stewardship scheme we are trying not to use any more than 210 grams of, uh, of active ingredient and this one application that we put on is almost to the maximum of that uh, stewardship scheme so if we need to come back in here again it'll be a sort of ferric phosphate type slux product um, but fingers crossed uh, we won't need to there might just be a bit of spot treatment here and there if the seed bed is a little bit cloddy there's a few little oilseed rape plants that are just starting to emerge as well some of these are being are taking up some of the pre-emergence herbicides some of the DFF diflufenican and that'll help uh, control those and um, hopefully they'll they won't get too big uh, on the positive side with all this moisture at least it's keeping the pre-emergence herbicides active although we really need some sunshine and some wind so that we can get on and drill we're about halfway through the wheat drilling and uh, we really need to be getting on now